In this video, we are going to learn how to add new units to the map and move them using a simple C -sharp script. You will see in this video how the same script can be used uh, in any of the three modes included in the asset. Either it is the 2D or flat mode, the viewport mode, or the terrain mode. The Unit Manager game object is just a placeholder for the Add Unit script. As soon as I click on the map, the type prefab will be stanced and I will be able to move it over the map. Now we'll see how the same script can work with the viewport mode. In viewport mode, World Map Strategy Kit uses a custom mesh to render 3D terrain with elevation. This is not the Unity standard terrain, but a custom mesh generated in real time by World Map Strategy Kit. Of course, you can uh, set the desired speed of the units on the map and uh, you can also customize the behavior and the look of the units uh, using the public properties of the game objects animator uh, reference that is returned when you call the move to function of the world map strategy kit API. Finally, we'll make the same script work in terrain mode. In terrain mode, World Map Strategy Kit is able to render the different map features like country and provinces borders, the region highlights or the country labels on a standard Unity terrain. Um, it can do that because it uses uh, custom terrain shaders that blends the different map uh, uh, layers on the uh, splat maps of the Unity terrain. The choice between the 2D map or the viewport mode or the terrain mode is uh, up to you and it depends on the, the complexity you want for your game. For instance, if you want to make a very simple game that uh, uses very little resources and works fine on mobile, like a Plague Inc. or a Risk game style, then you can go with the 2D uh, flat mode. 
But if you want a little bit more detail and effect and uh, add uh, elevation and water animations and uh, fog of war or clouds, then you can choose the viewport mode. The viewport mode uses a custom mesh that is uh, generated in real time, as uh, we have uh, commented before. Uh, so it uses uh, a lot more resources. It's a great option for desktop and also for the modern mobile devices. And finally, if you want to, to be able to zoom in a lot at the terrain level and uh, see your units walk or over the terrain uh, and see the grass and the vegetation or trees, then you should pick the uh, terrain mode. 